in the ultrasound of the liver we apply gel at the subcostal region and then we place apply the gel we place the transducer in line with the in line with the subcostal region and then move the ultrasound downwards along the lower margin of the subcostal area so this will be the first thing you will be doing while performing ultrasound of the abdomen or liver in particular by doing so what this is the scanning plan so by doing so what you would like to see is if liver parenchyma is visualized in this plane or not if liver parenchyma is seen in this plane then we will consider that maybe the liver is enlarged so placing the probe here i am going to go down and see what is visualized on the ultrasound image now only these are all bubble gases these are all bubble gases these are all bubble gases so liver tissue is not seen uh, at least one parameter for defining the size of the liver by ultrasound is indicating us that the liver is not seen below the costal margin now having after going through this scanning plan and we place the probe in the epigastric region in longitudinal section to see if what the liver angle is is it sharp is it rounded the normal liver angle is sharp and if your machine can measure it it should be less than 45 degrees <coughs> so here we are seeing liver angle the liver angle is sharp i have placed the probe longitudinally straight in the epigastric region and i am getting this view now in this view the liver angle this one from here to here and from here to here is clearly seen to be sharp so this is the second parameter for defining the hepato megaly the third one is to see if the liver ex exceeds the lower pole of the kidney or not now ask the patient to turn to the left decubitus posture apply gel and place the probe at the lower end of the subcostal region this is the lower end of the subcostal region and maneuver it bit posteriorly maneuver it posteriorly at times you will be able to get the right kidney straight away with the liver but it will be in those cases in which the liver will be enlarged in this case let's see does the kidney exceed the lower pole of the right kidney or not so this is what we are seeing on the image
try to get the size of the kidney, especially the lower pole, and then see the angle of the river. See, here I am. I placed the probe at the lower end of the subpostal region and then I angled it. So as to this is my scanning angle. This is subpostal, a bit angle, and this is the view that you get on the ultrasound. Now in this Remember, though it looks like that this is the anterior pole and this is the posterior, but in case of kidney, this is the superior or the lower pole of the kidney. The one which you will see downward is the upper pole of the right kidney. Remember the shape of the kidney for the present demonstration because we are mainly concerned with the study of the liver. So, just remember what kidney looks like because detail of the kidney ultrasound will be presented in other video segments. So if it's for us, I will explain only a little bit of the right kidney so that you can be able to identify the kidney. The kidney and its main parts. This, this is the capsule of the kidney. This is the anterior parenchyma, this black area, from here, this black area where the star is moving, all this, this is the posterior parenchyma, this appears, this will appear black. Now this central aquagenic area is the collecting system or in ultrasound language we call it the central sinus aquacomplex because it contains fat. Stones are usually formed in this area. This is the area.